Well, Paso winds are reacting to the details from the deadly Sierra Vista Mall shooting earlier this week. An armed bystander shot the 16-year-old suspect, who police say shot and killed 17-year-old Angeles Zaragoza. ABC 7's Carrie Mannix now joins us live from Sierra Vista Mall with those reactions. Carrie. Yeah, well, Sam, it's pretty typical that we see gun control conversations spike after shootings like the one that happened here at Sierra Vista Mall on Wednesday. And given that there was that armed bystander that helped stop the shooter, uh, many, some argue or they make the argument that guns are necessary to help stop dangerous people. But others are stressing the importance of those armed individuals being trained. One other potentially life-threatening activity that you would undertake without any training whatsoever. I mean, I literally get people in these classes that they, you know, they look down the barrel to see if the thing's loaded. In the state of Texas, you don't have to have a license or training to uh, to carry a, a firearm. And, uh, you know, there should be a, a very rigorous training for folks who, who do want to carry a firearm. In September of 2021, Texas adopted House Bill 1927, giving any Texan age 21 and over access to constitutional carry unless otherwise prohibited. County Commissioner David Stout says this isn't enough. When it comes to uh, access to firearms, we need to look at common sense things like background checks, safe storage, uh, safe storage regulations. Um, you know, I, I don't know, but it's possible that, that these kids might have gotten the firearm from an adult who may have uh, had access to the arm legally. El Paso police say the shooter was underage and carrying a stolen handgun and that he pointed the weapon in 32-year-old Emmanuel Duran's direction, which is when Duran fired at the 16-year-old. It's trite to say that, but only unfortunately it's true. I mean, yeah, uh, if somebody's going on a rampage with a gun, uh, only somebody else with a gun is going to be able to put them down. I asked gun safety instructor Tom Fenton the significance of the gun being pointed in Duran's direction. It shows there was a direct, potentially lethal threat. And, and in such a case, then a, a, a shooting, defensive shooting is justified in Texas. And this investigation, of course, continues to unfold, but Duran not currently facing any charges and Fenton saying he believes he will not be charged as he is a licensed carrier and it seems he was acting in self-defense. But we'll be sure to keep you updated on this story, both on air and online at KVIA.com. But for now, reporting from the east side, Carrie Mannix, ABC7.